What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to make my rebounding wing build. For the position you want to go small forward, I actually checked and small forward I think it gets like 5 extra attribute points instead of power forward. You can do either one though. But if you want this player to be called a playmaking glass cleaner, you're going to want to go power forward. But I just went small forward so it's called the rebounding wing. For the pie chart, you want to go all the way to the bottom and just go up one. You want to go with the half yellow for playmaking and half red for defense and rebounding. For the physical profile, I actually went with this top one right here. And it's kind of weird because it does say 63 strength, but the strength is going to go up. I'll show you guys later in the video. My strength is not even in the 60s or the 70s. It actually is in the 80s, which is really good. To start with this build, I actually maxed out all my shooting just so I can get as many shooting badges as possible 10 isn't the best but it's definitely doable I can green a lot of my threes next for the playmaking you can get I think up to 17 yeah you can get 18 playmaking badges but personally I just went with 10 because I actually wanted to get contact finisher gold because this build can get contact dunk so for the playmaking I maxed out my ball control and I dropped my pass accuracy until I got 10 playmaking badges so I just put that at 76 I didn't touch my post moves at all I don't really need that then for the defense I maxed out my interior defense maxed out perimeter maxed out my lateral quickness i did not touch my steel at all then i maxed out my block i maxed out my offensive rebound and i maxed out my defensive rebound so i have 20 defensive badges then going back to the finishing i maxed out my driving dunk i actually didn't touch my standing dunk or post hook at all then for the driving layup i maxed that as well and then i put the rest into the close shot then i took one away from my close shot because i figured out that i could keep three finishing badges and then i just put that one into the steal it doesn't really matter it's just one attribute point but this is how i made my build you can go with 18 playmaking badges if you don't care about contact finisher but this build does get contact dunks so i wanted to get gold contact finisher because of that for the height i just wanted to be the tallest i could be where i could still speed boost with takeover so that height is actually six foot eight then for the weight i maxed it so my strength is as high as possible so i can guard big men this build is actually going to run the three on threes i run with two guards so i have this small forward running big man it could also run guard because it can dribble but i like running the big man with this build for the wingspan you're going to want to put it all the way down and then you could actually put it up one if you want to that's what i did because as you can see if i put it up one it just drops my mid range by one so that's not really going to affect my three pointer or my ball handle which is what i'm worried about and then for the takeover i chose playmaker takeover and as you can see this build Build is called a rebounding wing so that's how you make the build now I'm gonna actually go on to the build I'm gonna show you guys my attributes and all that stuff here are the attributes for my build I think I'm 99.8 so I'm actually not 99.9 so these things could all be plus one like I used to have 85 driving dunk where I could get the best dunk packages but right now it's just 84 where I don't get the best but I still do get contact dunk packages as you can see my close shot to 72 that doesn't really matter I just upgraded that for the badges then my driving layups to 79 standing dunk and post hook don't matter my mid range is a 70 my three pointers are 70 free throw and post fade i don't really do post fades even though this build can do post fades but it is a 78 and my free throw is an 83 my pass accuracy is an 80 which is really good my ball handle is a 76 which means i cannot speed boost but once i do get takeover i can speed boost which i like a lot that is really fun that's what makes this build really fun to use the ability that i can shoot i can play defense i can speed boost and i can get contact dunk so this build can basically do everything and along with that as you can see at the bottom i do have a 92 speed which makes this build really fast and i don't really like using like 6 11 7 foot big man this year i liked it in nba 2k 19 but in nba 2k 20 that makes the builds really slow so it's not that fun for me to use i don't really use my other interior finisher build anymore this is the main build i use at big man but anyway i have 51 post moves i have 85 interior defense which is amazing for a six foot eight player 80 perimeter defense so as you can see i can guard bigs and guards i have a 73 lateral quickness my steel is the only thing i didn't upgrade so sometimes it's kind of hard to get steals and passing lanes and stuff but if somebody runs into me i just press square and i get steals pretty easily so as long as you have good defensive iq a 49 steal you can kind of work with it and i have an 83 block 86 offensive rebound and a 93 defensive rebound which is really good i can get rebounds over seven foot three big men i don't want to say pretty easily but if i am in position i'll definitely get the board as you can see at the bottom like i said before i have 92 speed which makes this build so fun to use because i can outrun pretty much every big man that i go up against and i can also outrun some guards i have 83 acceleration 80 strength which is amazing so big men cannot back me down as much then i have a 74 vertical and a 99 stamina so now let's go into the badges as i said before i do have contact finisher gold then for the shooting badges i have catch and shoot bronze corner specialist silver quick draw gold hot zone hunter gold and range extender bronze I actually used nba 2k lab if you guys don't know what that is it's a really good youtube channel you guys should go check it out it helps me basically choose what badges i need for this player like corner specialist if i put it above silver it doesn't get that much better so silver is the perfect amount for that and because my three-pointer is kind of low 
Katsushu over bronze, like silver, gold, or Hall of Fame isn't that useful. So I really only needed bronze. Then quick draw gold is pretty much a necessity. Like I put it on the highest for all my players. And then Hot Zone Hunter also helps with players with lower threes, but not so much with higher threes. And then Range Extender, I just had one extra bad, so why not put Range Extender? I don't need Deadeye. It's a good badge, but I don't really take bad shots. And Green Machine, I can green without it, so I decided I may as well put Range Extender so I don't have to pull just from the line. Now let's go into the playmaking badges. I still kind of change these up, but the ones that I keep, I keep Quick First Step, Hall of Fame all the time, and then I keep Bailout Bronze all the time. I've been changing handles for days. I used to have this silver, and I used to have Unpluckable Silver, and also Space Creator. This badge is kind of weird because normally you would think that when you press square and just do step backs, that's how you get ankle breakers with it, but I actually break people with this. Like, I don't drop them with it unless I have takeover, but I break people with this badge on snatchbacks. So I think Space Creator is better than tight handles because that just really stuns the defender. It doesn't really break them. And then Ankle Breaker, I know they did buff it, but it's not that great. So Space Creator definitely works for me. And yeah, I keep Quick First Step Hall of Fame at all times. Handles for days, I'm still experimenting with. I might drop this to Silver or Bronze because normally when I do play threes, I'm not the one dribbling all the time. So I might drop this. I might put like Space Creator up or Unpluckable or one of these other badges. I'm still experimenting. But as of now, these are my playmaking badges. And for my defensive badges, I have box gold which helps a lot with box out animations so big man can't just throw me out of the way because my strength is an 80 which is pretty good but a lot of bigs have like 99 strength so it's kind of low compared to their strength but they can't really back me down because of this badge right here. Moving truck is one of the best badges in this game at least for this build. I think it's probably either the best or second best defensive badge also pogo stick. This badge is amazing because I kind of like jump a lot of the time when big men are backing me down. If they get me close to the hoop, I jump. So then they take a shot. They think they're open, but I do have pogo sticks. So I can just spam triangle and I can get good contest animations. Sometimes they even end up blocking them. So yeah, moving truck and pogo stick are the two best defensive badges on this build. Then I have Intimidator Hall of Fame just so I can contest shots really well. Chase Down Artist Gold. This badge is so underrated. I love having this badge. And then I just put the two other badges on Rim Protector and Rebound Chaser, which are really good. But if you do want to run this build at guard, I don't really think you need box because you're not really going to be crashing the board. So you don't need box and rebound chaser. I would just take those off, put clamps hall of fame, and then also you wouldn't need moving truck. So I would probably put the rest on either interceptor, pick dodger, or pickpocket, one of those three. But these are probably the best badges for guarding big man, at least in my opinion. And if you guys are wondering how my attributes are so high, I actually do have that gym rat badge, as you can see in the bottom right. I think you need to be elite, elite one, two, or three. I don't remember which one to get it, but if you're not an elite, you do get it by winning a championship. So I just got it by playing career. Honestly, I was just grinding my badges and then I just got it. Like I wasn't really grinding for that badge. I was just grinding for normal badges. And I happened to be in the playoffs by the time I finished my badges. So I just figured may as well just play a few games just to get this badge. So I never have to go in that Gatorade practice facility again. Here are all my animations for my jump shot. I actually use Nut DF's jump shot. If you guys don't know who that is, he's a pretty underrated YouTuber. So make sure to go subscribe to him. Link in the description. Also for free throws, I use Kobe Bryant. I've been using this since 2K16 so I can time it really well. I think the best dribble pull up is Steph Curry because it's really fast. For the spin jumper, normal 4 is pretty slow, but I feel like that's effective because while you're spinning, you could either choose to pass out of the shot because I do have bailout on this build, or I could just shoot the ball, and because it's slow, it's kind of hard for defenders to know that I'm shooting because a lot of the time when they try to guard you, they end up either behind you or to the side of you, so it is either a good shot or you could just pass out. For hop jumpers, I think normal 21 is easily the best. This is actually a really good hop jumper, and on my player, I don't fumble the ball a lot with this one. I don't know why. I just feel like I fumble the ball less, and the animations are a lot cleaner. For post fades, fade 3 is easily the best one. There's not even any other one that comes close. For hooks, I don't really know the best hook, but I always use hook 3. For post hop shots, 1 is good, but if you don't like this one, I would try out 7, 8, and 10. And post shimmy fade and hook, I also put 3. That doesn't matter as much. For my dribble style, I put Paul George. I would either go with Paul George or Kawhi, because I don't think I can get all the other guard ones, but honestly, I don't really remember. I just use Paul George and Kawhi because that's what I use on my other big, so I just stuck with that. For my size of packages, I've been switching between Kobe Bryant and Curry. I really don't use size ups that much, honestly. Like, I just do hezzies for the most part and behind the backs. I don't really be doing size ups like that, so it's not like it really matters for me. But I think Kobe Bryant and Steph Curry are the best too. Then, as you can see, I have Moving Crossover Pro 2, Behind the Back Pro 3. Really good. Moving Spin Basic 1. This one has a glitchy move that you can do with it. I haven't really mastered it yet, but I kind of know how to do it. I'm kind of learning how to dribble little by little on this player. I haven't been practicing as much as i should be but yeah basic one is a pretty good spin not even just for bigs but for all players then for hesitation i have moving one and triple threat style i have wmba2 for my layup package i have long athlete this is easily the best layup in the game for hop steps 
And for my dunks, I actually have these two empty. I'm waiting to hit 99.9 again, so my driving dunk comes up to 85. So I can get the basic 360s and the leaning windmills. That's what I'm going to put right here. Then next, I have windmill reverses. Then I have straight arm and sidearm tomahawks. These are probably the best two dunk packages in the game. They hardly ever get blocked. Then I have clutch reverses off two, baseline reverses off one, clutch reverses off one, and then I have quick drops off one. It hardly ever gets blocked. And all the other dunks in here besides quick drops off one, sidearm tomahawk, and straight arm tomahawk are pretty much just flashy dunks, so you don't have to put those on. But the three dunks that I suggest, like 100%, you should have on all players are straight arm tomahawks, sidearm tomahawks, or quick drops off one. Then for the alley oops, I have the pro alley oops here. The other alley oops, I actually, it's weird because like I dropped down to 99.8, so I don't have the alley oops here, and I don't have the two other contacts dunk packages here but i do have the pro contact dunks i have the elite ones and then the small ones but they only show up once i hit 99.9 and then i have the pro alley oops and i also do have the elite alley oops anyway that's gonna be it for the video if you guys enjoyed and if this vid helped you please make sure to drop a like also if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe more gameplay is definitely going to be coming out on this build once again thank you guys so much for watching it's been king josh and i'm out peace